<laughs> Sorry. Hello, and welcome to a new video. We have gotten a Lush package. Uh, ordered this package about a month ago. Just came in, and I thought I would unbox this, see what's inside and give you a little um, little tour of Lush. We discovered what Lush back in what, 1990, no. We discovered Lush back in what, 2007, 2008. Went yeah. to a mall, I think, right? New Orleans, Georgia. Well, I had heard of Lush before and I had mentioned it to you and I think that's when you got to go to your first store. So, I had only tried the lip service, which is of course one of the best lip balms because you put that stuff on, it just melts into your lips. Like, it's so like moisturizing, love it. <laughs> but I'd never tried a whole bunch of their other products and it wasn't really until me and you did, so. I have my lovely assistant behind the camera. She, Hi, she is narrating and keeping me straight because you know that <laughs> that's not happening here. <laughs> so inside of um, the Lush packages are these biodegradable made out of like starch. And you can use them in your gardens if you want. And I've even seen our dogs reach inside of the potting plants and eat them. So I think they're okay. I don't know. They're not dead yet. They're not dead yet. So in here is also an invoice to you, uh, showing you how all other products are handmade, how the products are sold without any packaging on it, as well as the polymer plastic, some sort of, oh, the polymer plastic free peanuts. And, all right. So the first thing that we have in here is going to be the Rose Jam Bubble Rune. And they send all of their products without any packaging. So it doesn't come with any plastics, no boxes, or extra labelings. So this is how it comes. And a little package. And this is the Rose Jam Bubble Rune. And you break it apart inside of the water while it's running and it foams up. Totally like failing my job. It's okay. <laughs> it's it's number one out of we have five, so I will totally be ready the next time around <laughs> properly. But uh Rose Jam, rosy bubbles for the softest skin. Inspired by delicious handmade macaroons, the Rose Jam Bubble Rune features an intoxicating lemon rose perfume. Rose Rose Oil and Rose Absolute not only smell amazing, but they're also fantastic for soothing dry and sensitive skin. The ro rosy fragrance is paired with a dreamy shea butter icing that sticks the two, two halves together of this bowl of room, making for majorly moisturizing, softening, and luxurious soaks. Rose Jam is my favorite scent. They make it in a body wash, uh, a brick um, bath bomb, as well as this bubble room, which was super moisturizing. Love it. I love anything rose flavored. Right? Yes. 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 Uh oh, I got this little chunky block. This thing costs like, I think it was like $5. Check this little guy out. This is a rose clay salt bath bomb drop into wet warm water and let it dissolve in the bathtub the description on the website says if you want to soak your sore tired muscles with this sweet and salty balm a dash of cleansing rose clay is blended with exfoliating bits of sea salt to leave your skin feeling cleansed and comfortable meanwhile epsom salt will loosen tight muscles for all over relief and finally, a gorgeous bouquet of scents like jasmine, lemongrass, bergamot, and... Yang ylang ylang. That's the one. <laughs> we'll ease your worried mind. Forget rose-tinted glasses. The real path to happiness is through rose-tinted baths. All right. We got... I love the wordplay. I have something that is... Mine, 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 mine. This is just... It's, uh, just, it's, it's specifically for Shannon. I bought this for her to... Um, you know, make her happy. I had tried out <laughs> Lush products 
but this is what made me an addict. This is like the best smelling, like, I don't know why I love it so much. Some people like the way it smells. It's not for everybody, but for some people, they smell it instantly and you just fall in love with it. But um, it is a, traditionally a conditioner and um, I don't really feel like the scent matches completely the description, but at the same time, it's just magic. I can't even, I can't even begin to describe, but it says our dreamy strawberry vanilla con conditioner has been a fan favorite for years. Lots of people use it to scent their hair all day long with its addictive fruity vanilla scent. Softening honey, scalp clarifying lavender and fresh oranges make hair shiny, soft, and easy to manage so you can make your hair dreams a reality. So just to clarify something also about Lush that I noticed yeah. is that sometimes it'll mention things like, you know, like orange and things like that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the item's going to smell like that. It's just got like oils and right. essences. Like, this to me is a perfect example. I mean, there is no orange smell to this. It is mostly a vanilla. They say strawberry, but it's it doesn't even smell like strawberry. It's just this... I smell more of the lavender, I think, and the vanilla more than anything. It. Um... And there is a sweet smell to it, but... It's it's just unique. I like I they that's really the only product that they have in that scent. That every so often they come out with another one, but it's never been one that they've done in a lot of stuff. So recently they've done that. I love it. Sorry, I'm taking over his video, but the love is real. It's in my <laughs> heart. It's true. Once you try Lush, you you never really go back. There is this thing like you just find that one perfect little thing for you, and it just explodes. I just I did want to show you. That it all of the ingredients that are green are 100% natural, and the things that are in black are things that help with lather and preservatives. So pretty much everything on here is vegan. It's not tested on any animal, and right here, not tested on any animal. The bottles are not virgin, so they've all been recycled. And it even shows you a picture of the person who made their product, what date they made it, and what day it expires. But I've seen Lush products last for a year or more. Yeah, I think it's more of a just in case. But yeah, it's just a saving on their, their side. So right here we have fluffy, uh, what is it? Blue skies and fluffy white clouds. This one is me all the way. But this is a, another bath bubble bar and it's um kevin doesn't like this it's it's very patchouli so he doesn't like it when i smell like a, um he's giving me the thumbs down civic signal um it, it crumbles underneath the warm water and then it foams up and you smell like patchouli for days and days and days i freaking love it okay um mainly it says it's an exotic exotic frankincense has a woody grounding aroma that brings, blends well with earth, earthy, patchou earthy <laughs> patchouli to relax and restore your state of mind. Um, fly back and feel yourself float through swirly blue skies and fluffy white clouds of bubbles into a serene garden of a far eastern temple leaving stress and worries far behind. It, it, it does, and you can use this probably like 10, 15 times. They, 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 they want you to throw the entire thing in there in the shops. They're like, just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a beautiful blue color when you use it. So that's yes. actually one of the first things that I ever tried at Lush um, was the blue skies, and, blue skies and fluffy white clouds. So. Okay. We're getting down to the very last thing, and it is a silky underwear powder. Ooh. This one is also another one that we got for Shannon. And... Uh, let's see, what does it say on here? Sprinkle on your body to absorb excessive moistures. This is actually also like um, kind of a lush staple. Like it's one that's been around since like the very early days. Um, it's like when you want to feel smooth, dry, lovely, sprinkle some of the sexy jasmine and vitivir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not really good at some of the pronunciations of these things, but scented powder all over. It's a cornstarch and canola base. Ca can't, can't, whoa. 
we're gonna just skip over that word, and will absorb moisture to keep you smooth. But this is the part I love. It's got these tiny shavings of cocoa butter in the powder. That's so okay. when you're putting it into your skin, it actually, there's this like creaminess. It's like conditioning. It's not gonna completely dry your skin out. And the smell is amazing. And I do, they say you can sprinkle on your sheets. I know that's something that people probably think is like a fake thing, but I do. I love to take and just sprinkle this on my sheets mm. and on my pillowcase at night. And it's just very calming and it is a staple and I love it. And yes. I smell, um, uh, it's like coconut in it. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. I mean, I think it's got it's definitely got that jasmine smell, but it's just a little muted down floral wise. Like mm. there's, I really really love it though. It's very good. Absolutely. So that's the end of it inside of our box. But I saw something down here, and I just I don't know what this is. Hmm. What do you think? I've never seen anything in Lush box. All right. Okay. Oh, look. It's a thank you card. Oh, Lush must be thanking you for a... Oh, it wasn't a purchase thank you. It is a thank you to you, my viewers. Thank you for watching my Lush unboxing with my wonderful assistant and my husband sitting way over there who hates patchouli. He's waving at you. And I want to thank you for experiencing Lush with us. Yay. I hope that you try new things. Comment down below. Let us know how we're doing. If you want to see more of these, if you have any ideas about what I can do for you, uh, what we can change. I don't I'm kind of rambling now, but I did want to say thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful, safe, beautiful, sanitized day. <laughs> I'm so scared of that.